For the month of May, I'm going to be giving away another Sealed Guardians Rising Boost Box. For your chance to win this giveaway, all you need to do is make sure you're subscribed to the channel, drop a like on the video you're watching right now, and leave a comment in the comment section with the hashtag TapuAmity. To increase your chances of winning the giveaway, all you need to do is make sure you have completed these steps on all the videos I've uploaded throughout the month of May, and good luck. What's cracking you two? My name's Brody and welcome to another Pokemon trading card game opening. And today we are back with five packs of Sun and Moon base and a deck shield, a Sun and Moon deck shield. This one featuring Lunala. So if you guys didn't know this, these deck shields actually come in two forms, obviously featuring Solgaleo and Lunala. Um, but today we're opening up just the Lunala one. I kind of just placed it in front of the Lunala boost pack because it is the exact same kind of thing. It's like, boom. Now you can't even tell the difference. We're only opening up five booster packs today. Just kidding. We got the deck shield. So for those guys who do not know what a deck shield is, it's basically just like a mini elite trainer box of sorts. So you get you get some energies and you get like a nice little storage case and you get some booster packs as well. You guys can see just there. So two booster packs, some energies, it says contents may vary, uh, but yeah, so it's pretty simple, it's pretty nifty. Um, I've never actually opened one, I've watched videos of it, but these things are kind of expensive, like kind of expensive, and you only get two packs inside of them, so they're not really worth buying when it comes to quantity of packs, so I know, I just thought I'd mix things up a little bit and actually open one of these on the channel, because you don't really see these o getting opened too often on YouTube. Uh, but then we've also, just to add a little bit more extra content, we've got <laughs> five packs of Sun and Moon base as well from my sleeve blister case that I just recently purchased from Wild's department store. But um, with that said, if you guys are keen to see what we get out of this deck shield today in the five packs, be sure to drop a like down below. And with that said, let's uh, <laughs> let's see if I can actually like crack this open. I might have to, I might have to bite the shrink wrap. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, crunch crunch my teeth come on all right let's try again oh dear this is not working <laughs> they they package this thing so well oh do i have anything sharp around me i don't know we'll have to we'll just have to keep digging on it oh it's so it's it's so tough what is life the struggle is so real come on I have no, I have no nails as well. This is terrible. I might have to go grab something to crack into this because this is not working right now. Oh, we're nearly there. Pleh. Gross plastic. <laughs> Come on, we're nearly there. <laughs> this is terrible. I cannot crack into it. Uh, talking about like, I guess this is like childproof, and right now I'm considered the child. And it's totally foolproof of me. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere. Uh, yeah! <laughs> Hooray, clap, clap for the handicap. You guys, clap, clap for the handicap, bro. Brody here. Uh, but anyway, this is the deck shield, finally, without the shrink wrap on. So it kind of just has that down the bottom there. I don't know what that says. Don't really care, to be honest. That's just a copyright. Um, it's got, like, this little brochure that kind of sits around the outside here. I'll just leave that on just for the looks. But it goes... Bomb. Draw. So that's where your little uh, dice and uh, poison burn and whatever counters go in. They just chill it up there. And then you grab this out. And then all of a sudden you got a storage tin. So it's pretty nifty. It comes there, like I said, with the energies, just like you do in your elite trainer box. And then hold the phone. <laughs> okay, so I guess contents may vary we got a steam siege and a sun and moon i was totally expecting two sun and moon but it does say right there contents may vary okay all right well <laughs> we've got <laughs> those packs today okay so let's get this all set like set back up here see if i can figure out how this goes back on just slides like that cool well that's that that's that's kind of nifty we'll leave that just off to the side there energies can kind of just go over there and let's get cracking into these two packs. <laughs> Can't believe we got a Steam Siege. Why is that pack so, like, full of air? Let's crack it into the Steam Siege. I, I didn't really expect to open up Steam Siege. So let's get this one out of the way. Hold up. Hold the phone, you guys. <laughs> Hold the phone. We have a white code in this Steam Siege pack. Was this fate? <laughs> Was this fate colliding with us? But anyway, let, let's go. Enough of, enough of the puns. Let's see what we've got inside of this, this Steam Siege pack. We got a Tangler. A clink, 
a Joltik, Pawniard, a Fungus, Ambipom, we've got a Flaffy, Fletchinder, Reverse Hollow, Hopip, and a Hydragon Hollow. Okay, nothing all too too fancy, but we did manage to get a Hollow to kick things off. So that is that is always something. 150 HP with Cruel Fang, uh, Cruel Fang and Dark Burn. Okay. Now on to the main attraction, the Sun and Moon. This is what I really want to crack into because we got a lot of a lot of cards to get from this set. So there we go. No spoilers on this one, which which is always good. So let's go four and two, and then we're gonna crack into the sleeve. So we're gonna get a move on. This video is already already stepping its way into like the five minute mark probably. Oh dear. Sandal, Picky Peck. I talk for way too long, you guys. Big Malasada, Steeny, a Poliwhirl, a Bruxish, which is a Reverse Holo Rare. And a Masquerade, regular rare with Struggle Bug. Struggle Bug, I'm struggling. Struggling to crack into that goddamn deck shield. <laughs> I can't believe how bad that was. I'm so unprepared for this situation right now. But let's just go one at a time. Let's crack into uh, crack into this blister. What do we got? We had a Decidueye pack up to kick things off. Alrighty. We're aiming for a hyper of any sort. If we can get the Ultra Ball, of course, that's always the goal. Because I I do have one now for my set. Ooh, why does that look so dark? I don't know if you guys can see the difference in the color of the waters there. But it's like quite considerably darker. Anyway, 4 and 2. Um, yeah, I've already got the Ultra Ball now. I traded Booster Kings for his um, spare Ultra Ball that he got. Of course, he has a spare Ultra Ball. It's like I opened up, what, 200 plus, nearly 300 packs of Sun and Moon base. He opens up like three boxes, which is like just over a hundred packs. It's like, yeah, just two ultra balls. Why not? <laughs> and we got a Hodia reverse holo and a Toxapex holo. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I will take it. We got something there. That's all right. 110 HP with Toxic Spikes and Venishock. Okay, two holos there. Two holos. Next pack, we got the Solgaleo sleeve blister with a Lunala. Complete opposites there, I'll take it. Alrighty. Hopefully you guys are getting the finest of balls from those codes. Make sure if you do manage to scoop up a code from today's opening, be sure to leave. Only take one and leave the rest for others. Muchly appreciated as per the usual, you guys. And if you guys have been enjoying today's opening so far, be sure to drop a like down below and make sure uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys would like to see more from me. But we got a Unlisted Leaf Energy, a Repel, Pinsar, Timer Ball, ooh, a Reverse Holo, Double Colorless Energy, and a Kangaskhan Holo. Okay, you guys, that was a pretty solid pack. We got the Reverse Holo DCE, and we got the Holo Kangaskhan with Crosscut and Hurricane Punch. Cool. Okay. Lots of Holos. It's all about the Holos today, you guys, in today's opening. So the Deck Shield was pretty trashy. Like like I said, those things are kind of kind of expensive, and it's just like they don't really contain all too much. Um, but yeah, there we go. There's is an, a, another code. Hopefully, you guys are getting better pulls than what I am right now from those codes. All right, so we've got a Picky Peck, Eevee, Psyduck, Spiro, Dratini, Water Energy, Ultra Ball, Corsola, a DCE, a Reverse Hollow Spinder, and a Decidueye Regular Rare. It's got 140 HP with Leaf Blade and Brave Bird. Oh, can't forget the Reversey. Reversey there. So we've got two more packs to crack into in today's opening. Decidueye Pack Art. Maybe we can get, get ourselves a Decidueye GX. That could be interesting. That's actually one of the better GXs to get from the set as well. One of the more playable ones. And um, I can't believe they released like the De Decidueye Hyper Rare in, Sun uh, in Guardians Rising. That's kind of disappointing that they didn't release it in Sun and Moon Base. Just for like OCD reasons, like looking in the set binder, you want to see like the regular, the full art, and then like the um, Hyper. But now it's just like, well, it's just the regular. And then you go to another set and it's like, there's the Hyper. But then, then you're like, where's the full art? <laughs> So I think they're releasing the full art in like a collection box of sorts in the near future. Oh, but we get a reverse holo Serena. I actually needed that one for my reverse holo set. So that's a pretty solid pull. And a Lapras GX. 
So you know, you know how I was saying I cracked into like over like 200 packs of like Guardians Rising, uh, not Guardians Rising, Sun and Moon Base. I actually only pulled one Lapras GX out of all of those packs. Like that is kind of, kind of wild. So now we finally have two. So that's pretty epic. We got, it's got 190 HP of Collect Blizzard Burn and Ice Beam GX. Stepping it up. Stepping it up, you guys. Alrighty, so now we're on to our final pack of today's opening. So if you guys have enjoyed today's opening so far, be sure to drop a like down below. And if you guys would like to see more from me on the channel, you guys would like to be notified whenever I upload, check out just below the video uh, next to the subscribe button. There is a little bell and you guys will get sent push not notifications on your mobile device whenever I upload. But um, let's go. So we've got a Morlal, Ephemantis, Surskit, Growlithe, Crab Brawler, Fighting Energy, Steeny, Poliwhirl, Brion, a Reverse Holo Grand Ball, and to finish things off today, we've got a Primarina, regular rare, 150 HP with Disarming Voice and Sparkling Aria. Sparkling Aria, I think I missed I missed out on that reverse there. Did we miss any reverses? I don't think we did. Hopefully we didn't. Anyway, recap of all the bulk from today's opening. Anyway, I don't think we did. Should be seven there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool. Anyway, so let's have a quick recap of sorts for today's opening, even though you, you guys can already see it there. This is all of our reverse hollows. We got the Gramble, the Serena, which I needed for my set, which is going down there. Uh, Spinder, Double Colorless Energy, which is an awesome pull. We got the Herdia, Bruxish, Hopip, and then we got the hollows. We got the Kangaskhan, Toxapex, and the Hydragon, and we got the Lapras GX as our featured pull from today's opening. So that's pretty solid. These are probably my highlights just down here on the bench. The hollows are kind of there. But if you guys did enjoy today's opening, be sure to drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and be sure to hit the bell next to the subscribe button if you'd like to be notified whenever I upload. But with that said, if you guys, yeah, if you guys did like um, today's opening, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. I don't usually open up these deck shields, so it was kind of a bit of a new experience um, to open one of those. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. With that said, I'm going to get up out of here. Thanks for watching today's opening, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace. Thanks for watching today's video. I'd just like to announce that I now have a P.O. box for you guys to send in any fan mail. So if you guys are a fan of the channel and you'd like to see something featured on the channel that you guys have made, you now can. My P.O. box is in the video description or displayed on screen now. It is P.O. Box 1621, Kapalba, Queensland, 4157, Australia. I cannot wait to see what you guys send in and peace.